two bits Merv here um, on another duster tip. Now, I was a really lucky boy. I was uh, given one of these media nav units. I always had the radio CD player and I thought great, it was brilliant. So I went to swap it all over and all the plugs are the same so that's even better, brilliant. Uh, but I needed a GPS antenna and a DAB antenna. Uh, so that was on Amazon. Um, the GPS antenna works fine, plugs straight in. It's actually stuck under under here somewhere. Um, loads of signal, no problem. DAB antenna, which is that thing stuck in the window. Um, found out about FACRO, FACRO um, connections and they've all got slightly different colours, colour codes and connection codes and my connection was wrong but I had to get the Dremel out, give it a cut, got it on there. It's It works, not brilliantly, it's certainly in a built up area, you, you're you going to be waving in and out but it's, it's there. Anyway, the purpose of today's video is uh, when I mentioned on the Duster forum that I now had a media nav, uh, something came up about Android Auto, and I thought, oh, yeah, yeah, we'll give that a go. So I plugged the phone in, nothing. Um, so then I looked at the Android Auto software on the phone, uninstalled it, reinstalled it, nothing. Tried a different lead, nothing. Tried a different phone, nothing. So I started uh, investigating. What I did find is on um, a lot of the 2018 cars, uh, although they had the MediaNav Evolution, which is what that is, they never had Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. I read quite a lot, a lot of uh, reports of people going back to their dealers and saying, hang on, in the brochure it said, it should have this. Oh yeah, the other ones. It's a, it's an older version. If you want to upgrade it, you have to buy a new unit. It's a hardware issue. So unfortunately, I believe there is people out there that actually bought a new head unit um, to to achieve getting Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. What I have found out is these have actually got it in there, and it's just a software thing, and it just needs switching on. Um, and what I want to do is share this with anyone today that's got one of these that hasn't got Android Auto or Apple CarPlay to help you switch this on. It's not as scary as it sounds, honestly. I'm not a techie person. If I can do it, anyone can do it. So join me on this uh, little bit tutorial. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need to do is have a USB stick and a laptop or PC. And you've just got to create a file um, in Notepad. So, Windows Notepad, open it up. Don't put anything in there. Leave it completely blank. And with thanks to Adam Collins that uh, gave me this tip, put them in quotation marks. And this is what you've got to put. This is a file name that you've got to save. MCM test underscore activate.ini so that's mcm test underscore activate.ini which is what we have here okay and that's in quotation marks because apparently if you don't put it in quotation marks it will come out as a text document not an ini so we save that to your USB stick. It does say it already exists because I've created one but I was just showing you um, you know how, how to actually do it because this bit actually scared me to start with. So just to reiterate that's in notepad it's a notepad there is nothing typed in there you don't put anything in there you literally just go into the file save as save it to your USB stick okay
So I've just done an update uh, on this. Uh, so today is the 4th of June 2022. And the latest update is software version 1.0.15.3. Now the code I'm going to give you will not work on any other software version. And what I will do is I will try and put a list of codes... Uh, relevant to the software version underneath the description of this particular video okay right so this is where I can get well, it's not tricky it's just a technique you've got to push the screen in five places but first I'm going to put the USB stick the one that we've created that file the MCM test underscore activate INI file so it says no media file found in USB. Excellent, that's just what we want. Right, so this comes the tricky bit. So we're going to push it one, two, three, four, five. And now we're in test mode. Okay. So you may want to slow that down a bit. Do you want me to go back and do it? Yeah, let's go back and do it again. So watch, it's one two, three, four, five. Okay, test mode. Now for this particular software version, it is 0677 OK. Now if you put a wrong number in there, it will say, it will tell you the pin's wrong. So then you delete that. And then you put in 3115 OK. And this is a screen that we see. And what we want is to go into MyCom Test, which is this one. And this is the area where you can switch on. If you have a look here, AA on this was off so that's Android auto on uh, CP on and off that's actually CarPlay actually I'll switch that on for future reference I wouldn't touch anything else on here um, I've certainly been warned uh, that the this make virgin button will corrupt everything um, it, it's just not worth even well unless you're techie I'm not uh, uh, apparently you can you can change the the temperature from degrees to Fahrenheit you can uh, something to do with the reverse and camera you can switch that on and off uh, but for, for, for this purpose we're only looking at Android Auto and Apple CarPlay so there we are that's been switched on both of them and as from the factory they were both off and then what we do uh, we put, do a hard reset now that's not as scary as it's it's think it, it it's literally like saving the information hard reset so it's not that scary it's not you imagine it's all gonna make all your station memories disappear etc etc but um, no, it's all good. And that is it. Take out your USB. Switch on your radio. That will um, that will now update the software. So we're going to just plug my Samsung phone in, which is Android. And here the Android Auto button has now appeared, which it wasn't before. There we are. All done. Well, I hope you found this really useful and I'm pleased to be able to pass on something that I learnt uh, over the past couple of days to anyone that really wants to get this Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. Uh, thanks uh, Adam Collins for the uh, bit of information on creating the uh, notepad file and we'll see you again. Take care everyone.